good morning all in this video lecture we will learn different types of filter in this topic filtering in the frequency domain so filtering in the frequency domain we mainly perform for two major objective one it is for the smoothing operation another is for the sharpening operation the filter we use for smoothing operation are called as a smoothing filter the examples are low pass filter so usually low pass filter it is used for the smoothing operation another operation it is the sharpening operation and for sharpening operation we use high pass filter now from the name it is clear that low pass filter it means it pass the low frequency component and it attenuates the high frequency component whereas high pass filter it pass the high frequency component whereas it attenuates the low frequency component so in a digital image the smooth gray region are the example of low frequency component whereas the edge boundary corners and noise these are the example of high frequency component so low pass filter will pass the smooth gray region but it attenuates or it blocks the edge boundary corner and noise for the same we can say low pass filter can be used for removal of noise it can be used for removal of noise and since it pass the smooth gray region but it attenuates the edge boundary corners so in the output of so the output of low pass filter is usually blurry in nature output of low pass filter is usually blurry okay whereas in case of high pass filter it pass the high frequency component it means it pass the edge boundary corners and it attenuates the low frequency component that is it attenuates the smooth gray region so in the output of high pass filter we obtain the edge edge and hence high pass filter can be used for edge extraction next in the curriculum we have to learn the three kind of low pass filter those are ideal low pass filter butterworth low pass filter and gaussian low pass filter similarly we have to learn three kind of high pass filter ideal high pass filter butterworth high pass filter and gaussian high pass filter so let us discuss all these filters one by one first low pass filter it is uh, first type it is the ideal low pass filter so ideal low pass filter will offers very sharp cut off and the transfer equation it is huv it is equals to 1 if duv is less than equals to d not and huv is equals to 0 if duv is greater than d not so d not is a positive quantity and it is also called as the cut off frequency so low pass filter will pass all the frequency component which is less than or equal to the cut off frequency as it attenuates it blocks all the frequency component which is above cut off frequency so if we plot the transfer function of this ideal uh, low pass filter on y axis we will take huv and on x axis if you take duv and let's suppose this is the point cut off frequency that is d not so ideal low pass filter will pass all the frequency component which is which is less than equals to d not so this is 1 and after d not 
it attenuates all the high frequency component it attenuates all the frequency component which is greater than d naught so it is equals to zero so it is so ideal high ideal low pass filter it offers one when du when duv is less than equals to d naught and ideal low pass filter will offer the filter coefficient zero when duv is greater than d naught next Gaussian low pass filter Gaussian low pass filter will offer a very smooth transition and the equation of huv it is huv is equals to e to the power minus d square uv divided by 2d naught square where d naught it is my cutoff frequency and if we plot the transfer function of this Gaussian low pass filter again on y axis we will take huv and on x axis you will take duv so Gaussian low pass filter will offer very smooth transition like this next Butterworth low pass filter Butterworth low pass filter th this kind of filter performance it uh, varies from ideal low pass filter and Gaussian low pass filter or in other words we can say Butterworth low pass filter the filter performance of Butterworth low pass filter it depends upon the order of the filter if the order of the filter is low it behaves like a Gaussian low pass filter if the order of the filter is high it behaves like a ideal low pass filter so if you plot the transfer function On y axis we will take huv, on x axis we will take duv. This is the transfer function of Butterworth low pass filter. For low, uh, for low order Butterworth low pass filter, it behaves like a Gaussian low pass filter. It offers very smooth transition. Like this. This is for the low order Butterworth low pass filter. Let's suppose the order of the filter is 1. It offers very smooth transition, behaves like a Gaussian low pass filter. And if the order of the filter is high, it behaves like a ideal low pass filter. Let's suppose the order of the filter is 4 here. So for low order Butterworth low pass filter it behaves like a Gaussian low pass filter and high order Butterworth low pass filter it behaves like a ideal low pass filter. Similarly for high pass filter ideal high pass filter will offer you very sharp cutoff huv is equals to 0 for all the frequency component which is less than equals to d naught and huv is equals to 1 for all the frequency component greater than d naught. So if you plot the transfer function On y axis we will take huv, on x axis we will take duv and if you plot the transfer function and let's suppose this is the point d naught so the transfer function is look like this so for all the frequency component which is less than equals to d naught it offers the filter coefficient 0 and for all the frequency component which is above d naught it offers the filter coefficient 1. Next Gaussian high pass filter Gaussian high pass filter will offer very smooth transition the equation of huv it is equals to 1 minus e to the power minus d square uv by 2 d naught square and if you plot the transfer function of Gaussian high pass filter it look like this. Again on y axis we will take huv, on x axis you will take duv and if you plot its characteristics it look like this. Next Butterworth high pass filter so as discussed earlier Butterworth uh, high pass filter, its performance 
uh, varies from uh, ideal high pass filter and gaussian high pass filter for low order butterworth high pass filter it behaves like a gaussian high pass filter whereas for high order butterworth high pass filter it behaves like a ideal high pass filter and this is the transfer function this is the transfer function of butterworth high pass filter h u v is equals to 1 divided by 1 plus d naught divided by t u uh, d u v whole to the power 2 n so if we plot so if we plot the transfer function of butterworth high pass filter on y axis we will take h u v on x axis we will take d u v for low order butterworth high pass filter it offers a smooth transition it offers a smooth transition like gaussian high pass filter let's suppose this is n is equals to 1 and for high order butterworth high pass filter it offers short transition like ideal high pass filter let's suppose the order is 4 here so with this we have uh, we have discussed all kind of filters used in digital image processing for filtering application thank you